Hi everyone. So I'm here today, so excited for this plan with me. Um, I'm going to be doing a memory keeping spread in my Avalon 9 7x9 planner, but I'm going to be using this Maple Madness kit. So this is a collab kit that I did with uh, Dawn over at Coco and Fluff. And we have decided to film um, plan with me's. I was going to say joint plan with me's, but um, so we're filming using our versions of this um, kit that we made. And um, we have some very fun and interesting questions that we're going to both be answering um, throughout this plan with me. Um, and I do have to just say up front, um, I, when I was printing this, uh, well, when I was cutting this kit, um, I had to change my blades and so brand new blade and I think some of them might be a little uh, cut a little deeply um like especially these headers if you can see like I can stick my finger through there <laughs> um yeah so it's just because um I had to change the blades and get the cutting settings right but um yeah I, I mean everything's fine I figured it out I got it <laughs> I eventually got it all worked out. Like, boy, was that a trial. Anyway, without further ado, because I don't want to get too far into this before getting into the questions, because there's quite a few and they are so fun. Oh, man. Okay. So for the first one, it says, if your planner had a theme song, what would it be? And I mean, so in my life you know, songs, I think, you know, think theme songs, I think like Bluey and all of that, because that's what my life is right now. Right. Um, but no, so my current, my, my theme song for my planners would be, don't you forget about me, my simple minds. <laughs> and I just can't help but think of the rest breakfast club with that because yeah. Um, I feel like I forget about my planner or not, you know, not the ones that I'm in constantly, but there's plenty of planners that I've started and just walked away from. And like, I, it's, it's really bad guys. It's bad. Um, but I mean, that just means that I have a bunch of, and, and I do get, I get undated planners. So that just means that I have a whole bunch to try different spreads out in and, you know, if something doesn't work. I can always go do another one. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Don't you forget about me. That would definitely be my planner's theme song. Um, okay. Next question. What's the most unique or quirky sticker you've ever used in your planner? Um, I don't know. I have, I've looked through some of my old planners trying to think, and you know, I guess I would have to say, um, you know, anything from theoretical designs, she hand draws all of her own, um, art and everything. And I absolutely love her stuff. It's so pretty, but, um, hold on. Sorry. I had a little spider trying to crawl over onto my planner and that kind of freaked me out, but he's done. We're good. Um, but yeah, so, um, Amy at Theoretical Designs creates all of her own artwork, and it's very unique. Um, if you've seen any of her stuff, I'll be sure to link her in the description down below so you can go check it out, um, and you will definitely get an idea of what I mean. But absolutely love it, and it's the most unique or quirky. Um, okay, the third question. If you could plan a dream vacation in your planner, where would you go and what would you do? And so this was a no brainer for me. My husband and I would absolutely love to do this. I don't know that um, it's ever going to happen, but I would absolutely love it. So we want to go to Ireland and Scotland and I want to tour some castles, uh, which I'm sure he wouldn't mind. Um, but then we would go to distilleries and he can drink all of the, well, I would drink the Irish whiskey. He would drink all the scotch. So that is as a hundred percent what we would do. Um, I, I would definitely plan that in my planner. I would plan that like 
you know, not in my planner. <laughs> like I'd actually go, I uh, don't know how that would work out with two little ones, but yeah. Let's see. Um, <laughs> okay. Share a funny or embarrassing planner mishap you had in the past. So the only one I could really come up with, I am sure there are plenty. Believe me, I'm sure there are plenty. But the only one that I came up with was a plan with me I did a couple weeks ago where I didn't realize that my plan in with Manny kit was actually um, a horizontal kit that I had originally gotten from my academic planner, but I just decided, okay, I, it's wine time. I needed to use it because it had been a week. And so I started using it and then I realized, oh no, it's um, horizontal and I'm in a vertical planner. And then I started laying down stickers for, um, I, I planned, oh, cause I was memory keeping, I back planned my Tuesday on Monday. And then, so I was like, well, that sucks. And so I just wrote down, cause I didn't even have, um, uh, date covers. And this one is like cut super deep. And like I said, it's just, I was getting my cut settings set for that new blade guys. I just did not have time to recut this one. Plus I didn't want to waste the stickers, right? Like I just, I can't do it. Okay. Maybe I'll just have to go on to the next one. There we go. Um, anyway, and so I I didn't have any date covers, and so I just wrote down on a sticker, um, you know, Monday, Tuesday, slapped them up at the top, and yep, that was it. I just went with it. Just went with the rest of the week. So yeah, um, that whole spread. I mean, I think it turned out pretty cute, but it was a mess. It was a hot mess. Um, I didn't really care at the time. You know, I still really don't care right now because it was fun and it just felt so good getting stickers down um, and not caring so much about how they're down or like, you know, if they're straight or anything. Um, I might just like forgo the headers, but I honestly just need one more. Come on. Yeah, this is this is so sad. Like I can literally stick my finger through there. It's it cut way, way too deep. Um, I know exactly what my problem was. I had the cut settings on too high because my other blade was just that dull. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it, it was it was bad, guys, but we got it fixed. And I am bound and determined to save the sticker. Saving the sticker. Getting the sticker. Ah, I was so close. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. Or is this going to be my funny or embarrassing planner mishap? Trying to plan with little window blind headers. <laughs> oh. Okay. Dawn's probably not going to want to do another one of these with me if I can't stay focused. Um. Okay, what's the next one? Oh, what's the craziest or most ambitious goal you've ever set in your planner? Okay, I'm going to get pretty personal with this one, guys. Um, so when I first had, or when I had my first daughter, um, my, I should just say when I had my eldest, because they're both girls, um, I had gained 50 pounds during my pregnancy and I thought, oh, I, you know, it took me nine months to put all this weight on. I can get it all off in nine months, right? Nine months on, nine months off. Um, if anyone has ever told you that before, that that was a thing, you know, to do, um, I feel like that is a lie. Um, so I had some complications with um, my pregnancy my first pregnancy, well, I had complications with both, but, um, with my first, I actually had a fibroid that needed to be removed at 14 weeks. Um, I didn't know that I was prone to fibroids until one morning, um, my husband went to work and I was working from home at the time. I was only working part-time even, um, but still working from home. 
and um he left for work he's like are you gonna be okay i was like yeah yeah i'm fine because i was experiencing some pain but it wasn't i didn't think it was that bad and then um I call him like an hour later because I am in tears and just like, I can't do this. I'm going to die. Um, so he took me into the hospital and come to find out I had a 13 centimeter long fibroid. Now, for those of you who don't do metric, imagine a football. Just a football. That's, yeah. That's how big it was. Um, when I was at the emergency room um they ran all different kinds of tests and stuff um asked a whole bunch of stupid questions and stupid things for me like i get that you go in anywhere to any doctor's office and you're gonna have to pee in a cup you know for them to test oh yeah you're still pregnant um but i couldn't stand on my own and um they're wanting me to pee in a cup and yeah that didn't happen anyway um moving on so it turns out that the fibroid had grown nerve endings and the nerve ending, you know, the uh, fibroid was running out of room to grow. And so it was folding in on itself and those nerve endings were dying. And that's the pain that I felt. I was so afraid. I, I did not know what was going on. I, I literally did think I was dying. Um, anyway, so, I mean, between having to have surgery to remove that, so yes, uh, so initially from the ultrasound, they thought that um, one of my, like I had cysts on one of my ovaries or whatever, and like my tube had turned and stuff. So the, initially they were going to go in and remove um, my, that ovary and tube on that side. But once they, the surgeon got in there, he saw the fibroid and he's like, oh, that's, that's the problem. That's what we're going to remove. Um... So, yeah, so I had a full, um, I don't want to say a full, but I, I had um, an incision as if you were having a C-section, only they didn't cut into the uterus because it was growing on the top of it. That was probably TMI, and I'm a little sorry, but not too much because it answered the question. Um, but anyway, getting back to it, like, so I had to spend the whole rest of my pregnancy healing from that while my belly is expanding talk about painful. Yes, that was not enjoyable. I don't recommend it. So um, I think that's part of why I gained so much during that first pregnancy is because I just, I didn't want to do anything. Um, and you know, I just, yeah. Anyway, so I convinced myself that I was going to lose all that weight in the first nine months. And I tried so hard and my... <laughs> My girl was born July 2nd um, in the South, which going outside and doing any kind of exercise was just not, not a thing. So it was, it was an interesting time. I felt terrible not achieving that goal and having to cross off so many milestones in my planner. But you know what? At the end of the day, I am realizing it's not that big of a deal. I'll get there when I get there. Um, and then I got pregnant again. And so now I'm still like, well, I'll get there when I get there. It'll be fine. Um, not, not a big deal, but honestly, I will say, oh yeah, this sheet must have cut pretty deep too. Um, from the, from the wonky cut settings with the new blade. Um, but yeah, I will say that I did get back to my pre-pregnancy weight from my second pregnancy within the first year. So that was very exciting. Um, but that weight is still a lot heavier than where I would like to be. Anyway, enough of that. Do, 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 do. Charge. Okay, so that was, yeah, that was my my craziest or most ambitious goal I've ever set in my planner was to lose all of that weight in nine months. It wasn't going to happen. Okay, so the next one. Okay, the next one is, if you could have a planner-related superpower, what would it be? Oh, so it took me a while to think about this one because I honestly wasn't real sure. Um, I mean, there's a lot of things that would be a good planner um, superpower. Um, so I was thinking like, oh, maybe it would be nice to 
be able to get rid of that feeling of, you know, like feeling the stickers on the other side of like this page, you know, that you're planning with. Oh yeah, so <laughs> there's that one. My biggest embarrassment or mishap or whatever. Anyway, um, you know, cause as you're playing on this side, like you feel the stickers. I know that they make boards and stuff, but it's still like, you still have stickers on the other side of this page that you're feeling. So I thought getting rid of that feel and stuff would be awesome. But then I was like, you know what? No, I can never lay down a foil sticker straight to save my life. So that would be my um, superpower. Superpower is to be able to reposition foil. Reposition the foil. That is what I would pick because yes, who would not like to be able to reposition their foil? I, I mean, come on. It's do what do I want? I don't know. I'll go with the leaves. I feel like this plan with me is taking forever just because I did not have my cut settings right. And there we go. I have greatly apologize for that. Plus, I'm distracted by all these questions. They're good questions. I like the questions. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Gonna lay down a few more stickers before I forget and I get talking again. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I need something there. I'm gonna go ahead and put you down. Do, 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 do. And I'm gonna do, I would do a pumpkin with it, but no. Um, let me do this basket with food. It's cute. The basket with food is cute. Okay, I'm gonna do Wednesday and then I'll keep answering. Um, answer some questions because I still have a few more left. But I want to get through some of these before I forget what I am doing. Because I kind of feel like I'm having a squirrel moment and I just am not remembering what I'm trying to do. I'm just enjoying the questions so much. That's what it is. I'm just enjoying the questions so, so much. I was going to say too much, but not too much so much so much and i'm fighting my silly stickers here okay okay so here's monday through wednesday okay now to turn Whee! i'm gonna turn my lights a little bit just to help with the lighting situation okay so let's see next question is describe your ideal planning setup no budget limits i'm not really sure what that means um so my ideal planning setup, like you mean my, like how everything's organized and like my desk and everything like that, because um, I really like how everything is right now. I could just use more storage and like more shelves. So um, right now I have some floating shelves in my office next to my desk. Um, and that's where all my sticker albums are. And then I wish that they were deep enough to be able to hold my washi drawers on because my desk is also my work desk. So I film here. I do all of my like just in the middle of the day, like writing stuff down, planning um, my daily planning stuff. I do um, my teaching job at this desk. I design my stickers and cut and everything like this. This desk is home. Um, so I don't have but so many planning items on my desk um, because I need to keep it pretty clean and organized. Um, like there's no way I could keep, a, you know, something for everything that I use this desk for on the desk. Um, I might have to just cut my losses with this sticker, but I, I really don't want to because it's so super cute. Um, and again, I didn't have my cut settings right and it is fixed now i mean i can show you another another kit that i printed that it's fine um i almost had it and okay i know this trick you're supposed to like bend the corners and go but it's not working bending the corner and going and just and it's just, it's just coming up and it's just not 
not working for me. Okay, well, I have to cut my losses and not do that sticker. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Are you going to give me a hard time too, sticker? Huh? Huh, orangey? Are you going to give me a hard time too? No. You came up. I win. And I can just put some deco with that. Okay. Anyway, moving on. So, yeah, my ideal... Um, planning setup so is it like that that you know we're talking about um because i would really like to be able to have some more um some deeper floating shelves to put my washi storage on um what else oh what else did i think of oh yeah those slanted pen holders right so it's like you you know, put your pens in and you stand it up and yeah so a thing for a compartment for each type of my pen that would be very nice I would like that and just keep it all on my desk so I can see everything and I don't have to root around looking for something um but as far as the um, planners themselves that I use, I'm actually really happy with what I'm using right now. So this is the Avalon and Ninth um, 7 by 9 planner that I'm using for memory keeping. I do really like my Aura Stell A5 right now for my functional and all, just all things lists and whatnot. That's um, been really great. I do like having the Archer and Olive one. Um, that's been a lot of fun getting getting to play with for just my daily journaling. And that's a lot of just me playing around and setting up trackers and stuff that I don't ever actually use. Um, because, yeah, I forget to keep opening it. But if I could remember to open it and use it, that would be great. And I would love to have more of the, I'm not going to say this right, the acryliograph pens. Um, I would love to have more of those because um, they're just so fun. They're just like paint pens. Um, I really like them. Uh, I wish that I was more creative with them, but if budget was not an issue, I would just get every single one, get all the things. Do, 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 squiggle. Um, oh, and I also really like my Laurel Denise planner for my shop planner. And I really like that because I can see my monthly and weekly spread all at the same time. It's all like in a row. Um, so that's really, really nice. I really like that. Um, I think I need extra check boxes on Friday. Do, 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 do. Excuse me. And so I guess I'll put you over here so you can contrast. Okay, so the next question, and there's there's a couple more left. We're getting close to the end, guys. The next question is um, share a planner-related hack or tip that has saved your day. So one that I just, I, I hardly ever do um, because I pre-plan so much but it is writing on stickers before you lay them down because I absolutely hate having um, laid down a sticker and then just the angle at which I have to either turn the book or turn, you know, my hand or whatever to be able to write on it. It's just not enjoyable. And so write, write on the sticker before you put it down. Um, especially, I especially do that in my monthly um, it's a big thing that I do in my monthly all the time, actually. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. And then just um, oh, a second tip. Just put a sticker over it. Like, you know, nobody will know. Like like Brandy says all the time, nobody's going to know. Just put a sticker over it. It'll be fine. Um, yeah, it'll be fine. And then... <laughs> what's the most unusual or unexpected thing you've ever included in your planner so it was in my memory keeping planner it was a while ago and it was when my eldest daughter at the time was an only child got a sticker stuck up her nose yes i said that correctly she got a sticker stuck up her nose 
she was playing with stickers while I was grading and doing some work. And, um, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, she was playing with her stickers while I was grading and doing some work. And she decided to, um, put it up her nose. I don't know why she decided to do that, but she just thought it was going to be a great idea. And so I had to ever so carefully get my tweezers and pull it out. I almost thought we were going to have to go to the emergency room to have them pull it out because I was so afraid I wasn't going to be able to get it, but we did. And then I was going to have to explain like, why does she have an alphabet sticker up her nose? Although I can imagine that is not the weirdest thing that anybody's heard in the ER. So yeah, yeah. Okay, and then last question. <laughs> and you're gonna see, I didn't actually do it. <laughs> so, but um, not in this spread anyway. But the last question is, if your planner could talk, what do you think it would say to you? Um. I would say something along the lines of another habit tracker. Seriously? Um, because, yeah, I'll put habit trackers on my weekly <laughs> spreads or even my daily spreads. Like if I'm tracking my water or something and then I never go back and fill it in. So, yeah, habit trackers. I love them. They are so fun. But and, I'll, and I put them down all the time. I just never cross stuff off. <laughs> it's so bad. Anyway, so this is my Maple Madness spread using um, my version of the full standard size kit. There are still plenty of things left over. I absolutely love all the art in this. It is so fun. It's so, it's bright, but it's full bright, right? Like it's, you know, just the so many fun colors. Absolutely love it. It is in the shop now. Um, so go check it out and you can go check out, um, Dawn's. I will link her channel in the description. You can check out her video using, um, her kit, her version of Maple Madness. And I hope to see you guys next time. Please like and subscribe if you would like to see more content like this. Bye guys.